in 1973 motocross was hot, motorcycling as leisure was big business, and lots of kids lived within easy reach of places to go off-road riding with lots of opportunity to explore almost in their own backyards. With aspiring dirt riders pouring onto the trails, motocross and enduro organizers found little difficulty attracting competitors to their events. One of the most famous off-road races, immortalized in the movie on any Sunday, was held every year through the 60s and early 70s in the Southern California desert town of Lake Elsinore with part of the route going through the downtown streets more than 1,500 riders regularly turned up. But while it was easy to find a place to ride, it wasn't so easy to find a really effective small-bore motocross bike in the 125cc range that would appeal to younger riders. Dirt Bike ticked off the choices in its September 1973 issue, starting with the Bull Taco 125, which was screamingly fast, but frighteningly unreliable. Honda had built its brand and reputation on four-stroke engines, but Honda wanted to be the preeminent motorcycle company in all types of motorcycling, and by the mid-60s the only competitive off-road bikes were two-strokes. While management mused over this puzzle, Honda staff research engineer Soichiro Miyakoshi kept busy catching up on two-stroke technology, obtaining bikes from rival makes and stripping them down, hypothesizing that a good power-to-weight ratio was essential for motocross success he headed a team that designed a Feather Light 250cc two-stroke prototype, which they sent out late in 1971 to compete in Japanese motocross races. By the spring of 1972, enough of the bugs had been worked out to allow the Honda name to grace the tank. Now known as the RC250M development, continued on motocross tracks around Japan, and a smaller 125cc version was tested in June of 1972 before adding gas, it weighed a mere 154 pounds. Still in the development stage, the 250 turned up at tracks around California in 1972. It was soon found to be far too fragile for American motocross, and the factory revised parts, until the machine could last through a weekend without visible damage. It finally appeared in showrooms in early 1973 as the County Route 250 M Elsinore. The heart of the new 250 Elsinore was its piston port two-stroke engine, thanks to good design and judicious use of magnesium alloy. The 250 weighed in at 225 pounds and produced 29 horsepower. Honda had a winner, as Gary Jones proved when he won the 1973 AMA National Motocross title on a factory 250. In the fall of 1973, the 125 production version of Gary Jones' Elsinore started to trickle into dealerships where it was met with huge enthusiasm hands waving fistfuls of cash and long waiting lists. The production 125 Elsinore was powered by an all-new 123cc piston port two-stroke. Not just a sleeved down version of the 250, it had a bore and stroke of 56mm x 50mm with a two-ring aluminum piston lightly etched to help oil retention and ward off seizure. Engine cases were made from weight-saving magnesium alloy, it was sparked with a Kakusan magnetically triggered capacitive discharge ignition system, and a six-speed gearbox transferred power to the rear wheel. The frame was manufactured from high-strength chrome moly tubing, with a large backbone tied to the steering head, and the front down tube with carefully engineered gussets front forks provided 7 1 inch of travel which was excellent for the time. The swing arm was also made of tubing, riding in Bakelite bearings and secured the rear hub with threaded axle adjusters. Plastic fenders kept some of the mud off the rider, and Showa shocks with four position adjustment provided excellent cornering potential. The knobby tires were mounted on ridgeless aluminum alloy rims, advertised to be self-cleaning. Period testers were happy with the 125 easy starting, light clutch, excellent acceleration and nimble handling. Comfortable for both tall and short riders, the Elsinore was stable coming off whoops with a center of gravity that was in just the right spot. The only things period testers really found to object to were the peaky power delivery and the design of the front fender, which allowed mud buildup in the cylinder fins. The 125 Elsinore's good press and great sales irked Honda's rivals and spurred them to action. 
The next year Suzuki, Kawasaki and Yamaha all trotted out contenders for the title of best 125cc motocross bike on sale at your local dealer. Cycle Guide ran a shootout between the four Japanese rivals and reported the results in their August 1975 issue. All four had similar bores and strokes with compression ratios, the Yamaha boasted reed valves, and the Kawasaki had a crankshaft-driven rotary valve, the Erm Suzuki had 7 1 inch of rear wheel travel compared to the Elsinore's 4 inches, making it one of the first commercially available motocrossers with long travel rear suspension, when the dust settled, the Elsinore came in third place. But Honda didn't like coming in third, so for 1976 the 125 Elsinore got a revised frame and long travel rear suspension of 7 inches. Specifications stayed more or less the same until 1979, when the designation changed to County Route 125R and the engine was improved with reed valves, wheel travel was now 11 inches front and rear. The Elsinore had a good run, but times changed. The race through Lake Elsinore had stopped and the name was no longer synonymous with motocross. The Elsinore name was dropped after 1982.